Welcome everyone. In this video, I will explain you about Arduino board types by their processor, memory and its features. This video is also for beginners who didn't know to choose their Arduino kits for their project. So, let's get started. First, I will show you a most popular Arduino board, that is Arduino Uno board. It is widely used in many Arduino projects. Here we see its processor. It has a Atmega 328 8-bit processor. It provides a clock speed of 16 MHz. It also have a storage of 2KB static RAM and 32KB flash memory. It has a features of 14 digital input and output pins and 6 analog input pins. Next we see some of its widely usages. Yes, that is widely used in electronic projects along with sensor for measuring its units. We also did one DIY project with Arduino Uno board to make a smart car. Here I will show you a small and breadboard friendly board. Yes, that is a Arduino Nano board. It offers the same connectivity and specs of the Arduino Uno board in a smaller form factor. Now move to its processor. It also have the same Atmega 328 8-bit processor with a clock speed of 16 MHz. It has a storage of 2KB static RAM and 32KB flash memory. It provides 22 digital input output pins and 8 analog input pins. It is widely used in small size projects and also used in some surveillance projects due to its small size. Next, I will show you a Arduino Micro. It is a board that used in many projects. It was developed by Adafruit. Here we see its processor. It has a Atmega 32U4 8-bit processor with a clock speed of 16 MHz that have a storage of 4KB static RAM and 32KB flash memory. It provides 20 digital input output pins and 7 analog input pins. It is widely used in many projects due to its compatibility. Next, Arduino Pro Mini. This board is dedicated to advanced users who require flexibility and small size. It is a good choice for a embedded project. Now we move to its processor. It has a Atmega 328 8-bit processor with a clock speed of 16 MHz that have a storage of 2KB static RAM and 32KB flash memory and also provides 14 digital input output pins and 6 analog input pins. It is widely used by advanced users. It has a more application in embedded projects. That's all guys for today's session. If you are interested in learning about Arduino, then you can follow our Arduino tutorial series that absolutely made for beginners. Then 
Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you gain some idea about Arduino from my video. If you like this video, give like and subscribe my channel for get more videos like this. Stay graded and I will see you next time.